All right, here we are at our second pile. We got a few more left over on that first pile up there. We'll get those. I think this pile here is a little smaller. Get these things loaded. All right, there we go. There is a little bit different stacking routine. I think the stacking went a little faster than what it did last time, but we only got 36 six on here. We could have easily put another three or four bells across the top, but didn't want to run all the way down to that other pile. Thought I would just take this. It's a, definitely a lot fewer bells, but it was a lot more, um, it's a lot faster, I thought. Should be close to another six grand, don't we think? There we go, 6,500. All right, gotta keep doing it. All right, here we are in our other big pile. Get these loaded. Oh, look at this mess. Done it again. All right, so putting it on the edge is just no bueno. It's not, it's just not gonna work. Just way too much problems. Too much, it's too tight. Something, I'm not sure exactly but it just doesn't work. So I'm gonna go back to the three. We'll do smaller loads and that'll just have to be the way it is. All right, another uh, 6,700. That's our fourth load. So we've made right at 25 or a little over 25. I think we start off maybe even closer to 30. I think we start off with um, 164. We're up to 194. So that would give us 30,000 for the day. That is going to be well and good enough to be able to get into the next month. We still got a little bit of time today that we can do something. So I'm going to run around and uh, think what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect up these bells and put these bells in the silo. And then that way we can think about getting some, uh, maybe some sheep coming up here in the next month or so after we buy our other piece of property and we got to pay a little bit on the loan as well so that's what we're going to do next we're going to um go ahead and roll the the month over actually no i'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more work and there's no need for you guys to have to watch me run through all this again so i'm going to do a little bit of work off camera and we will see what we can get going here shouldn't be a whole lot out here but uh Shouldn't take me too long to pick up the rest of this. My thought is this. Here, I kind of just show you what I'm thinking about. Like zipping in through here, for example. Leave the tractor running. I'm just going to snag up these things. Not going to be very... Um, specific with the loading I'm just really gonna just throw them in and take them over here to the barn hey there we go I think that is the last of the bales now we do have a lot of spare grass floating around some hay floating around that we can also bell up we'll do that later might be a bell or two out there that's okay I'm let those sit not gonna be a problem there we go yeah, it looks pretty good. Pretty happy with this. We can uh, we can make us a nice field out of this if we want to. We've got everything we need. I was going to leave this tree right here, but this tree got a little tight coming down through here when we were mowing and stuff. So this tree's coming down. Cut out the stump. Delimit, and we'll just do some basics here. That 
should do it. Use a little leverage, push this out of the way just a little bit. We'll come back over and get it. That's too heavy. Yeah, that's too heavy. Too heavy, too heavy. Nice. All right. I think I'm going to leave this little patch of trees right here. I think I'm going to take these trees out right here in the future. That way we can get up close around the barn. Get everything in here nice and pretty. Oh, I hope our apples don't go bad. Those are too heavy to move. I don't know what they look like from a water point of view. Let's see here. Apples, apples, water. Got plenty of water for now, looks like. Oh yeah, lots of water here. Could use a little bit more over there, but that's okay. Apples are producing well. All right, so let's call it a month. All right, loan payment, 1666 as expected, 505 on property maintenance, and another dollar's worth of cost on the apples, I believe. Nice and early in the morning, beautiful November day. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, looky what we got over here. We got us some lettuce. Let us be happy with that. And over here, more lettuce. <laughs> I love it. That is amazing. Our box is still broken, but we're not getting any mail. Let's get this thing over here out of the way so we can work on it later. There we go, poor mailbox. <laughs> All right, let's take a look and see if anything showed up in... Nope, that's not what I want. What I want is I want to see if there's anything showed up in here. Let's see here. Anything on sale? Nice little header. Nope. Big truck would be probably nice at some point in the future, but don't need any of that at the moment. Okay, so our first big thing is to purchase our property. So let's get in there and do that. Let's see here. We want here, we want farmland. Let's zoom out of this a little bit here. Now we did acquire enough money that we can buy one of these bigger lots. And this one right here, I was severely thinking about it, which is 24. So I was gonna, I was gonna buy 27, uh, but 24 is 130,000. Now that would leave us about 60, but uh, check out 24. 24 is right here along the edge. And let's take the little tractor over. Take a look. So we see where the house is. This is essentially where we stop, which is right, right about here, right? You can see where we're able to pick up the grass. And if we look at the farmland, we look at 24 so we come right out there so we would actually be able to go ahead and take the most of that all the way down and then we get some more of that field over there so if we look here all this grass would be ours we'd be able to pick up all this grass down the side of the road here we get all of that timber up there some of it looks a little rough. That's what we're going to do next. We're going to go take a look at that timber. We get to go all the way down here. Now, of course, we wouldn't we wouldn't own this facility, right? This one right here. So we wouldn't we wouldn't own this one. This is the charcoal production. We could bring we could buy that eventually at some point and bring down um, timber into there, which would be great because charcoal makes pretty good money, if I recall. Let's take a quick look at charcoal. Oh, yeah, we need to look at. Uh, oh, yeah, we're definitely going to take these. So this is plowing and this is plowing. Let's see here. Let's accept this one and borrow the items. And then let's accept this one. We will use the same items on the field. All right. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we wouldn't own the charcoal plant, but we would basically own down here and we would own a little bit across the street here where this little um, residence is. 
right here. So we would get a little bit of this grass. And then if we look at the map, going back to the farmland, we did 24. Now it kind of comes out around that house right here. And then we owned all the way down. So out through that little piece right there, and then we would own all of these. Now, let's take a look and see how many of these are good sized trees. So there's a 27, 27. Lots of 27s, 24s, 27s. Ooh, it gets steep up here. 27s. There's a Here's what we're looking for. We're looking for a big 35. There's a 35. Should be a couple more here. Yeah, 27, 27. Up here, 35, 35. So those are nice. That one kind of looks like Deadwood, doesn't it? Hmm. Something else to think about. There's another 35. Ooh, that looks like a dead wood, too. But it says it's spruce. I don't know if we cut it down if it's down. I mean, look at that. It looks like, there's, it looks like it's all dead, doesn't it? Now, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> 24. Let's buy it. Ooh. There we go. It's ours now. All right. Now, <laughs> now that I own it, I got to know. Are these things, are these things dead. Still showing spruce. One point nine tons. Right at six meters, six six five kg. I think that's about right. Okay, so we got to do five and eight. I'm just gonna hire a worker and just let the worker do the whole thing. <laughs> let them plow it up. We can get on to other things. Alright, looks like he's doing a pretty good job. We're gonna let him keep on keeping on and we're gonna keep on cleaning up.
Okay, here we go with our first cleanup load. Let's see who is paying the most for wood. Oh, I'm having trouble finding stuff today. I don't know why. Wood. It's all mail. Easy. All right, contract on field five is 70% complete. Got a little AI worker doing the job. Looks like there's been some clear cutting going on out here. Seems to be fewer trees than what I would remember. Fourteen thousand dollars. That was a good load. That was a beautiful load. All right, let's run over here and see how the AI worker is doing. Zigzag over here through our mess. <laughs> oh yeah, he's looking good. He's almost done. Good, 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 good. Now, before we can do much more loading, we got to do a little bit more cutting. I did stop and get that big tree over there that we cut up earlier. And we've got a couple of trees here that we can go ahead and load up as well. Hey, looky there. Contract on field five is finished. All right. We'll take a look at that once we're done over here. And then we'll get him back over on this other side. All right. Let's hope this one is closer to the 14. Survey says 11, 9, 8, 1. Just shy of $12,000. It is all right. $19 shy of 12 grand. Pick up this equipment. Now keep in mind, this equipment is borrowed. So we want to take this equipment over and do the second field. Again, I'll get an AI worker. But if we go and complete the contract, they'll take the equipment back. So I'm going to make sure he's done. Looks like he's getting finished right there. I think there's just a little edge piece that he might want to do. I agree with that. I'm going to jump in here and actually do it. We go. Hold up for a second. Hey, Bobby. Thank you, man. Looks like you immediately missed a little bit down the row here. We want to take care of that, too. All right, there we go. Get this over to the other field. Here we go. We're gonna let the AI worker continue on. And we got a long run back. 